All right, so today I will be turning a streamlined round top pen. And what I'm gonna be using is this black palm blank that I picked up. Uh, it's very light, very splintery. So I'm thinking I might have to use some CA glue while I'm turning it, but what a unique blank. Like, look at that. It's very neat, never seen anything like that. So. I'm gonna give that a go, but the first thing, this is the first time I've uh, used this kit in the bushings, I found that when you turn, when you get to the end and you're sanding, the black coating on these seems to seep into the wood. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is actually put these on the mandrel and sand that black coating off because it's caused me nothing but problems before, and that'll be what I do, but I won't bore you with that part. Uh, I'm just gonna get to making this pen and let's have fun doing it. with the sanding. Uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. I'll sand from uh, about 220 or I'll do about a 100 up to 600. So I'll get back to you when I'm done. And then that really brings out the finish in the wood and I really like this part. Uh, I'm not too sure if two coats is necessary, but I like to do it. something Let's see if I can get you in closer here look at that grain this is the most unique wood I've ever turned now ordinarily I would finish it off with a beeswax but I just bought these new buffing wheels and it comes with three different uh, waxes. Let me set that up and I'll get back. So first thing I'll do is load them up and buff out the uh, pen blank, see what happens. So I 
I came over here to the pen press to start uh, putting this pen together and I noticed because this wood has splintery the whole time and I was trying so hard with CA glue and taking small cuts but I think the buffing wheel took a little chunk out. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Now there's a little chunk missing right there. So I think what I'm going to do now is take it back over, set it back up on the mandrel and sand off this wax that I put on there and I might try a CA finish. I've never done it before. Uh, I do have some thin CA and I do have a medium CA so I believe that's all I need to put a CA finish and I think maybe I hope that it might cover that up. Um, so unfortunately it's a little late tonight so that's a tomorrow project. So I'll come back tomorrow and see what I can do with that. Alright so because of my little chip out here I'm not too sure if it was the buffing that did it um, or if it was there prior and I just didn't see it but it's there. It's pretty, it's, it might be just past the bushing a little bit, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm gonna take the sandpaper and bring it down a little bit, and then I'm going to attempt a CA finish. I've never done it before, but it doesn't hurt to try, I suppose. I think the CA might cover that up, fill it in, and you might not be able to see it. Okay, so I sanded it down pretty good. I, actually, that uh, that little notch is gone. Can't see it anymore. But I'm still going to put a CA finish on here. Um, like I said, this is my first time. Wish me luck. No. Well, that didn't work out too well. Um, geez. What do I do? I think this stuff's a little bit too thick. I'll try it one more time. So that thick CA glue that I had, uh, it really made a mess of things. It's lumpy and I don't know, it doesn't look very good at all. But I'm hoping the micro mesh will um, buff all that out. Jeez, uh, I 
think I'm gonna have to watch a few more videos on CA finish because um, that's atrocious. Anyways, let's get to polishing. Well, uh, not too happy. There's a bunch of blemishes in there you can see. Uh, not too sure what I did wrong. I'm assuming it's my thick CA that I put on there. I think it was a little bit too thick. I think I need a medium CA. Um, I'm going to try and buff it out on the wheels. Because... I don't think anything will make it any worse right now, so I'll give that a try. Come back when I'm all set up. Twist pen. Not too bad, but this part here has got quite a few blemishes. I'm not too sure you can pick it up, but I'm pretty sure that's because of my CA glue was too thick for the final coat. So I'm going to have to find some medium. But I've done enough farting around with this pen. So this is what it is. And it's going to be a giveaway. So a bit of a long video, but thanks for watching. Until the next pen.